Hi, it's Tony Lamb here from Dicker Data with Ian Morris from Nutanix. How are you doing today, buddy? Yeah, great. Thanks, Tony. Pleasure to be here. Excellent. So what are you doing these days over there at Nutanix? Yeah, so I'm the ANZ Distribution and Alliances Sales Manager. Uh, so what that means is I work with distribution partners such as yourself at Dicker Data and also look at the broader uh, ecosystem of other vendors that you provide in your portfolio to see where, that we, we, where we can uh, work together to create a, a solution play. Fantastic. So you guys have a, a slew of solutions that you can build around Nutanix. Can you give us a bit of an example of what that looks like? Nutanix is uh, in essence about simplicity, about modernising your infrastructure. And this started back in uh, 2009 when we first pioneered HCI, Hyperconverged Infrastructure. And that was around collapsing your storage and your compute infrastructure down into a simple, easy to manage stack. And we were the pioneers of that. Uh, and it really revolutionised the way that a lot of data centres are built today. Act 2 for us was around making virtualization invisible. Virtualization had become a commodity, you know, hypervisors um, were expensive, um, but really the, the management behind them uh, and the day-to-day -day operations was quite cumbersome. Uh, we launched our own hypervisor called AHV. AHV um, was an included hypervisor in a Nutanix stack, uh, so at no extra cost, providing all the features and functionality that you'd expect from an enterprise grade hypervisor. We built that with security in mind, so that when we uh, sell a Nutanix product, the security is at the essence. Act three for us is around making clouds invisible. So whether it's your private cloud, your, uh, your public cloud, your multi-cloud, being able to manage them all with a single, easy to manage platform by new, powered by Nutanix. Mate, MSP and Nutanix. It's not something that you know people are, uh, out there in the partner landscape think about, but I know that's something new that you guys are getting into. Could you give us an example of what that looks like? Yeah, well, absolutely, and they should be thinking about it, Tony, because when we think about what an MSP does and, and being able to bring services, hosted services, to um, our partners to deliver to their customers, Nutanix is built with that in mind. The ability to offer things like infrastructure as a service, VDI, database as a service, uh, it's all inherent in what we've built today. Um, so we take out all of those complexities of the management that an MSP would have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, simplify it, make it more cost-effective for them to be able to deliver in using linear scalability. So as their environment grows, the same predictable, easy-to-manage workload is in the back end. Great. I think I came across the word anything as a service, there's a lot of A's in there, but what is that to Nutanix? So we think that our partners should be more worried about building services to their partners and less worried about the infrastructure that's underpinning it. So we need to be able to deliver things as a service, uh, simple things like infrastructure as a service, whether that's VMs as a service, uh, storage as a service, uh, files as a service, uh, all the way through to VDI as a service, uh, desktop as a service, even databases as a service. The way that we can use a, our software defined infrastructure system to be able to deliver those makes it really easy for a managed service partner to be able to um, spin those up as an offering to their customers. So let's, let's say one of our partners is into data center transformation. Mm. Nutanix will be right front and center when, when you're looking at those types of uh, transformations, is that correct? Absolutely, I mean we pioneered HCI, we were the first to bring it to market. We looked at what the, the hyperscalers, the, the Google file systems, the Amazons were doing in their big data centers and thought why can't that sort of uh, software defined data center be brought into the enterprise and the mid market and that was the birth of HCI. Mate, it sounds too good to be true but you're making it so simple, but how does Nutanix help our partners get into that ecosystem and get all this goodness? So I guess with the launch of our managed service partner program, we're really, uh, I guess, dedicated to working with partners to have some joint solutions. Um, so whether that's uh, with enablement on training with our partners, uh, supporting them with uh, joint go-to-markets, MDF funding, 
uh, certification assistance. Um, you know, we, we're really backing the program to support our partners through this transition into service provider land. Steps that partners need to take when they want to get into the Nutanix MSP program? Well, firstly, they would call their DICA data representative, and I'm sure their DICA data representative would be able to work with them to help them uh, sign up to become a partner, whether it's um, you know, filling out any of the online forms that need to happen, being introduced to their Nutanix representative uh, to work with them, work on joint business planning, work on architecting what sort of environment they're looking to spin up to offer services to their customers. Fantastic, and thank you so much for your time, mate. No worries, thanks, Danny. Good.